This video was inspired by a sexy bastard known as Saswag. Link will be in the description. How did I get here? The end. Welcome to a video on how to get good at Akon and Oak. Perhaps a more dynamic duo than JoJo's and their stamps. Let's get started. Starting with the Akon, this bollock-sized little shit has access to quite a power set of tools that enhance his ability in being an agile and hard-to-hit little shit. The Akon's primary is a fully automatic weapon that whilst the description says it's meant for close-range combat because of the developers of BFM forgetting to give a fuck about damage drop-off, you can use it at pretty much any range with little to no penalty whatsoever. This allows you to be more annoying than Miles Edgeworth pulling an autopsy report out of his ass claiming it was done at his request. Whilst his primary is quite powerful, he also has access to some powerful tools within his kit. The first of these being a remote explosive that can be detonated on request. This bullshit explosive has the most inconsistent radius ever, being as consistent as Wolfie's accuracy with any weapon. However, whenever the game decides to be nice to you, then it will be a free 65 damage to your opponent's fucking life. Which basically means that if they happen to be the size of a chicken nugget and are playing in there you can literally just put two bullets into them and then throw out the sap trap and detonate it to kill them instantly as not only does it have a high as fuck burst damage output but it has the shortest cooldown ever allowing you to freely spam this shit into any fight as you please the other ability that acorn has is a quick dash allowing you to evade any source of damage with a burst of movement in the direction you're walking the dash has two charges allowing you more options to escape than an argument with a Karen who has severely flawed logic. Now before we get into his summon ability, it is important to know that acorns can ride on top of their fellow oaks, sitting on their head, providing them extra firepower as well as altering the acorns kit. The acorns primary fires a lot faster when shitting inside an oak, has infinite ammo, and can deal additional damage to shields. The sap trap also travels a lot fucking faster, allowing you to practically snipe with it. His dash however, has been entirely replaced with a heal ability. Using this ability grants a fuck ton of healing both to yourself as well as to the oak. As well as giving you both a 50% damage resistance for the ability's entire duration. And since each oak can have up to 3 little shits shitting inside them. Together, they will become a very powerful force and will be tough to take down. But of course, whilst it's fun to assist the big man in his quest for complete zombie devastation, it's a lot more fun being the big man himself. Oak may move extremely slow, but he has 300 health to boot, allowing him to take quite a beating. The Oaks has a log cannon that shoots out chunks of wood, dealing 40 damage for a direct hit and 16 splash. And like his little shit counterpart, has some powerful tools at his disposal that the reaction will most likely resemble this. <laughs> If you abuse his bullshit enough, the first of these abilities is the exact same as the Akon's remote explosive, but on so much crack that you'll become comatose from sniffing it all. Oak's remote explosive can deal 125 damage and pretty much instantly kill a majority of zombies with just a single button press. The other ability basically causes Oak to launch his log cannon at his enemies, like the log from Clash Royale, because why the fuck not add to the list of unoriginal ideas that be FN is to offer. Enemies hit by this log of fury bullshit will take 60 damage. One thing to keep in mind for however is that if you are killed as the big man, you will become unrevivable and will not be able to be resurrected. Now I recall saying that Oak moves extremely slower. However, most of you who are watching are probably like, dude you're chatting shit, you're flying through the sky and drop shotting people like you're some MLG edgelord. How the fuck are you doing this? Well, that's mainly thanks to the September patch where they decided that a 2 cost upgrade can give Oak the ability to fly. Some may question PopCap's logic on this or question what the fuck they were smoking. But this change alone allows a 900 pound tree to fly through the fucking sky and drop shot on people not expecting some giant tree to land on top of them and force fuck them. Thanks to this guide, you will now be a master of abusing the most absurd and complete unfair bullshit known to man. Instant killing every zombie you encounter, as well as being a 900 pound tree flying through the fucking sky without a care in the world. Be sure to watch out for the next mystery get good in a few days. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this.
Have fun.